By most of the Hard Rock site is clear. Developers haven't said, though, what they'd like to build there in the future, but city officials are taking steps to make sure it is not another high rise. Danny Monteverdi has that story. Before the rain came down Tuesday, some crews cleared away some of the last debris on the Hard Rock site. Others worked to put back light poles that have been down since the deadly collapse in October 2019. Now, almost 18 months later, the question is, what's next for the property? Developers have been mum on those plans, but city officials say they know what they don't want. Another high rise at the corner of Canal and Rampart. I wanted to wait um, until the building was almost totally down. City Councilwomen Kristen Palmer and Helena Moreno are leaving the charge to pull a permit that allow 1031 Canal Development, the Hard Rock's owner, to build up to 190 feet, well above the limit of 70 feet allowed at the time. That request is now in the hands of the City Planning Commission before it goes back to the council for a vote. Palmer, who in 2011 voted to allow the taller building, says the city doesn't want to reward the developers with another large building on the site, especially after they had to tear down two historic buildings to demolish the Hard Rock. A lot of people are concerned that this was a land grab on behalf of the developers. Amy Stelly, board president for the Vucare Property Owners, Residents and Associates, says the organization is in favor of pulling the permit that allowed the building to be built almost three times as tall as the allowed limit at the time. We definitely don't want to see anything rebuilt under that old conditional use. Stelly and Palmer say no matter what goes there in the future, the corner should honor the past. There was um, civil rights activists there. There was a lunch counter. If there were some way of honoring both the civil rights history of the building and also honoring the souls of the people who perished in the collapse, we think that that would be appropriate. It's just one decision that needs to be made as the future of the corner is decided. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. There's no firm timeline for when Lakebound Canal or Downtown Bound Rampart will reopen. We will, of course, keep you updated.